Today, we show you two troubleshooting steps that you can take to fix those pesky MacBook problems coming up. What is going on YouTube? Today we're going to go through those two troubleshooting steps that will hopefully resolve some of the wonky issues that you get on your MacBook or your MacBook Pro. These issues can stem from if you're having like slow system performance or you're having battery indicator issues or the backlighting on your keyboard isn't functioning correctly or you're getting some crazy erratic fan speeds. The first troubleshooting step that we're going to look at today is resetting the PRAM or the VRAM and this is responsible for retaining information such as your mouse sensitivity, your date and time, etc. So what we're going to want to do is first power down the machine all the way. Don't log out or don't put it to sleep. You will need to shut it down completely. Once you have verified the machine is all the way shut down, you're going to do two things. First, you're going to press the power button and then immediately follow it up with pressing Option, Command, P, and then R. You will want to do this before the gray screen in order for this to work correctly, at which point you can release the keys after the Apple logo appears and then disappears for the second time or after 20 seconds, whichever process comes first. Once the machine has fully booted, you will need to go in and possibly change, like I said, your adjust your mouse sensitivity, adjust your date and time, because as I said before, is what is responsible for retaining that information. So you may need to go through and readjust those settings. The second troubleshooting that we're gonna look at today is your SMC or system memory controller reset. This is responsible for like your battery indicator or backlighting of your keyboard or fan speed, things like that. So if you're receiving those types of issues, this reset may resolve those for you. Before we begin, it's always a great idea to have a recent backup of your data, just in case something in the troubleshooting goes wrong and you need to fall back on a previous backup. First thing, of course, we're gonna turn off the machine. Don't put it to sleep, don't log it out, etc. Turn it all the way off. And then once it's powered off, go ahead and unplug all of the accessories because we don't want anything to interfere with those. But you can go ahead and you need to actually leave the power adapter plugged into the MacBook Pro. Once you've done that, press at the same time the shift option control on the left hand side of the keyboard, as well as a power button hold those down for a few seconds and then go ahead and release if your machine does not automatically power on you can go ahead and press the power button log back into the machine and verify that the issues that you were having were resolved now if you have a removable battery the steps are a little similar but they do have some differences so first you guessed it shut down the machine all of the way and disconnect the magsafe plug from the machine once you've done that go ahead and remove the battery press the power button for five seconds while the battery is out and then go ahead and release put the battery back in reconnect the MagSafe cord, turn your machine back on with the power button, of course, and then log in to verify that your issue was resolved. And that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other types of troubleshooting do you guys take to fix common Mac problems? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you liked the video or found it informative, give it a like and a share, and be sure to check out some of our other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of how-tos, a lot of tutorials. I will go ahead and link a couple up over here on your right-hand side of your screen. And then as well as don't forget to subscribe, which I'll post up right here and enable bell notifications so you don't miss out on future content. And we will see you on the next one.